how can we communicate between the model and the view? So the finger action was triggered in the view, right? Touch began and touch ended. So, but we need to notice the chess engine, right? To make the move, to make the move. We are called chess engine dot move, make move, move piece. And, but in our design pattern, MVC, model view controller, those two guys cannot talk uh, to each other. The solution is an advanced um, designing uh, tech. Okay, so let's create something like this one. App delegate. We'll create our own delegate. Uh, it's called maybe chess delegate. Okay, so let's create a protocol like uh, okay right click new file it will be a swift file it's very simple so chess delegate basically it's just like an agreement a contrast okay so protocol this one chat chess delegate it promise right so anyone applies this delegate means it will promise to provide a service what's the service a function so func but we don't need to provide the implementation body here so what promise what uh, service do we want to provide make move okay move piece move piece same thing here from Colin will provide this service right uh, given those information right from row to column and to row. It's actually, you may find, right? Already notice that this is exactly the service provided by our model chess engine here. This guy, move piece. Why do we need that here? That's because we have to we have to create a middleman, which is the this guy will be our middleman view controller. Because the view cannot notice the the model the model object chess engine directly. So you'll see what will happen here. So now let's make our model middleman to apply the new protocol chess. Protocol chess. Okay. Why is that chess protocol chess delegate? Let's trigger the combination, compile, combination. Now try it again. Yes, chess delegate. Okay, so wait for a few seconds. Then Xcode will remind us. Yeah, that one. View controller does not conform to conform to protocol chess delegate. Let's add it. Fix. So you will add the skeleton code, right? Because it means we, our view controller. We promised to provide this service. So, yeah. So we needed to provide the service function, move piece. Now let's move it down to here. Um, put the view digital, yeah, let's put it here. 
it's a good place. It can be anywhere, it doesn't matter, as long as it's inside this, this class. So how do we do that? Easy! We can delegate this task right to our model. This one dot. We just pass down the task to here. So from column and uh, from row. So whatever information we get, we just pass to our uh, chess engine. So two column, two row. Okay, so this is just a label, and this is the NIC. It's the actual data passed in uh, through this argument or parameter. Okay, so after we finish that, we need to update our shadow, right? Shadow pieces there, and uh, trigger a repaint, and this is testing code. Let's get rid of that. Bye bye. And we can yeah, we can leave that here. It's better. Even though sometimes we cannot see any difference without that. Um, make move. Okay, move piece. Now, one more thing. We need to set Okay, wait a minute. Now, it means an object of view controller, right, can be the implementer of this protocol. Now, let's switch to our view file here. So, we'll pass the, we'll pass the action from here the place our finger event happens, right? To the target. The target is our, uh, the final target is our model class chess engine. So we'll trigger the move piece method there function. And now let's add a delegate here. So let's create the var. Delegate, okay? Chess delegate. Chess delegate. What's the type? Chess delegate, right? And uh, but at the beginning, it can be nil, right? So the initial value, if we don't put it by default, is this guy nil. So ma let's make it uh, explicit. So we start there. So now. At the end of touches, right? The touches, we can trigger delegate. Oh, say, oh, chest delegate, okay. Chest delegate, hmm? Where is it? Chest delegate. That's command B to trigger the, to notch the compiler, okay, now chest, try it again, chest delegate, yes, it's here, dot, remember, any implementer of this protocol will provide a service named movies, right, okay, so why are there a question mark, because it could be nil, right, if it is nil, then this line of code has no effect. So don't worry about that, it's safe. And uh, as long as it's not nil, then it will trigger the real, uh, the real thing there. So now, let's make this a little bit shorter. Okay, now here's the problem. From, so we know two is here, two colon is this one, is our destination, destination of our touch. So two row, two row, yeah. But what is this one? From, it should be here. But this is, when we touch down, right? That event was triggered a few seconds 
or some sometimes maybe just a fraction of second before right it's the history and this variable is not accessible from right this is local variable so it's it's inside this function touch began and we we got this information when we start when we land right when our finger on the screen and when we lift our finger that all the information right is gone so it means we need somehow to memorize right those information how yes we can use a global okay global to uh, this class and let's put it here so we can we can define this guy here right move out okay now of course we cannot use that because we'll assign the, the real value here every time when we touch down touch the screen so let's put some invalid initial value maybe uh yeah negative one or one thousand uh ten thousand now let's do the same for the column so after we touch it row okay so now we we'll use that one right to memorize to hold the value we are used which we'll use later right and we don't need this this is for testing so because it's short so it, it doesn't matter if we remove this one and okay we don't need that now here is our from column right and uh, from row does it make sense to you so can we run it now let's try run and uh, move no nothing happened that's because this guy is still new it's still new when we create when we put it here right when we put it here there's no place right we assign this anything to this variable let's do it now so it should be inside the view controller here because we ourselves here uh promise to provide this service so let's make it explicit so here we can yeah we can put it here so for view dot chest delegate right remember it this so far it is nil so let's assign something to it what can we assign to it an object of that right an object an instance of this class so it's ourself now let's give it another try so let's drag this one to here yes right let's move this one to here okay cool you might say wait a minute can we let the piece follow right let the piece follow our finger or the cursor here right we'll do that in our next video bye bye